This is Jeff Gage from Green Mountain Technologies. How do we identify the end of the curing cycle? Well, curing can actually take place forever, in a sense. Um, as long as there's carbon molecules that microbes are able to eat, and they're eating, munching away quietly, curing still is happening. So the real question is, when do you want to use your product? And that kind of depends on what use you're using. Composting usually goes with everything being optimized for about 20 days to 21 days in an active phase. If you delay that by having it too hot or too dry, this will take longer than that. After that initial 21 days, the temperatures have started cooling down. You're actually able to use that material for, let's say, just row crops. Putting it on top of the field, working it in, it'll do fine. It shouldn't really tie up any nutrients and the biological activity won't get in the way of the plants getting what they need out of the compost. But if you allow it to cure for longer periods, let's say 30 days to 60 days afterwards, what's happening is a lot of the nitrogen is becoming more available. It's converting ammonium and the organic nitrogen into nitrate, which is instant candy for the nitrogen for plants and feeding plants. Also, you can start using the more and more stable it gets, the more and more cured, you can start using it for very small plants that are seedlings, and there's nothing that's going to interfere with that process for those guys. So when is curing done? Curing's done when you want it to be done and what your end use is. If it's a sensitive plant, give it more time to cure, maybe two months. If it's a normal use uh, going into a potting soil blend, maybe a month is all you need. If it's going on to agricultural field, you know, total of 10 days of curing is pretty much all you would need to get it stable enough and make it work very well for your end uses. This is Jeff Gage. That's the end of curing for Green Mountain Technologies. Thanks.